in freshwater systems and the ocean, we're really interested to know what drives currents and mixing. So this is a very simple classic lab demonstration that shows the influence of density gradients. So in a freshwater system that would represent horizontal gradients of temperature. In a marine system it could be horizontal gradients of salinity and temperature. Or in a geological setting it could be horizontal gradients of um, turbidity. So how the lab experiment works, at one end I have a region I can put a barrier down, I add some salt to there, I dissolve it and then I have a lateral density gradient. When I pull the barrier out a gravity current forms at the bottom of the tank which propagates along and it's completely driven by the density differences. So when you have a large density difference it propagates very rapidly small density difference it propagates quite small, quite slowly. This is what Lake Ontario looks like continuously. The wind pushes the surface layer, that interface between the warm and cold waters is continuously moving up and down. So if you look at the temperature at 20 meters depth offshore from Pickering, at surface waters they vary with the diurnal heat differences, but the bottom water it can be 10 degrees one day, it can be 20 degrees the other day, it's really variable and what you should be visualizing is that there's these big movements of the thermocline that are going up and down. So it's a very simple demonstration. Um, what we end up with is a stratified system where we now have this dense fluid on the bottom, light fluid on the top, different layers of dye indicate that we haven't mixed the tank and um, I do this in just about every single class I have because it's uh, nice and visual and works quite well.